Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode. Well, the weather is becoming warmer. It's not much warmer. It's still in, in the upper 30s. Uh, it's still cold outside and my kids just play in the playground here. Uh, but anyway, the, today we're going to look at my travel backpack again on the Tom Pagnon the Explorer Plus. Um, because some of you was asking about um, the more details about the top compartment and uh, I want to also cover some of um, the downside of this backpack although at this point I still think this is the most ideal backpack for me um, but still there are some downside of this backpack and I will cover that in this video This is what I usually have in my in the top compartment, and some of you is asking about what it looks like when I have some stuff in there and how it looks like when it's on my back. So I have some stuff in the top compartment, so it will look like like this. So I'm. 5, 10, uh, so you can just have a reference point. This is how the backpack look like on my um, on my back. And then in the top compartment, I do have some rain jacket and my headphones and. Um, my winter jacket, uh, winter gloves. That's um, the, some basic ones. Sometimes I throw in um, iPhone chargers or um, some other stuff, just minor things. But um, this would just take some of the space in the top compartment. And as I mentioned in my previous video, this opening cannot be closed. So uh, it doesn't have a zipper or a magnet. Um, so it will be open like this. And also, it has a small pocket inside. It has a zipper, so you can still put some small stuff here. And it can be shoved down quite small. So that's without anything in the top compartment. And then on my back, it would be much smaller like this all right although the top compartment is separate with the, the main compartment um, the the separator or the there is a zipper inside here you can just unzip it and it will make this the whole bag it just all the way through um, that's for well some of you might want to get some more stuff in here um, but I think that's just make this backpack more versatile for some people and you can put more stuff I can show you maybe you can see the um, zipper so you can just unzip this and this will become a very big backpack most of the things I mentioned in my previous video, so please check it out. And today I just cover a few other things. One is the top compartment. And the other one is, as I mentioned, I can put my 1DX Mark II here. Um, so you can see, um, I can access my 1DX Mark II here. But the thing is, um, in my, with my previous backpack, the opening is on this side. And I think it makes more sense to me because when you have this on your back and then you want to take out your camera and without put the back down and the compartment is here so it's on my right right hand side it's hard for me to grab my camera because just the direction is not right because the grip is here and if I want to use my right hand it's no way to 
pull my camera out conveniently. So I have just kind of struggled to get this out. Um, as you can see, it's, it's not easy to take it out and put that back in. But if it's on the other side, if it's on the other side, it will be more convenient for me because most of the camera, well, I would say all, all of the cameras, the grip is on the right. So if I can open this, the open is here, then I also open it, I can just use my right hand to grip, grab that uh, the camera grip and then take it out. It's, it just, um, I would say it's much better if the opening is on this side, not on the other side. My 2D backpack has the opening on this side. It's much easier to access the camera on this side. That's just a downside, but it's okay. Uh, it's not, not, uh, it's not a deal breaker. Um, so, so let me know if you have any other comments or questions about this backpack. I can do more videos for you. And this is just cover some of some ones that ask me about the top compartment um, and uh, how it looked like on my back. Um, again, I'm 5'10", so it's like this. So a side note here, I finally decided to get the Canon EOS R. And right now I'm shooting with it uh, with the 2470 2.8 lens at 2.8 by the way uh, I'm using a ND filter on, on the lens so I can shoot wide open with this lens initial thought I, I have some test footage and uh, photos yesterday it looks quite nice to me but I'm going into details uh, in the next couple days or weeks um, but I'm going to share with you what I think about this camera and uh, how I like it or what I don't like it and I'm also going to go through that um, this ND filter in the future as well. Um, so stay tuned, please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button if you like this video. And thanks for watching, see you next time.